हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज मिसेस दीप्ति कुलकर्णी लेक्चरर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फिजिक्स के एल एस कुकटे पी यू कॉलेज बेलगावी इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस्ड इन जनरल व्हाट इज फिजिक्स एंड आल्सो वी एंजॉयड द वीडियो दैट इज अमेजिंग फैक्ट्स ऑफ फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस फर्स्ट चैप्टर फिजिकल वर्ल्ड बिफोर गोइंग टू डिटेल ऑफ दिस फिजिकल वर्ल्ड चैप्टर लेट अस ग्लांस the number of topics okay and marks respective marks so these are the topics total 15 chapters are there and these are the weightage or marks okay for each chapter so here i am going to start first chapter physical world the weightage of this chapter is 2 marks okay in the last video we discussed what is physics in general and how it is actually originated everything we discussed so according to your syllabus according to your textbook how we have to define this physics physics is the study of physical nature and natural phenomena and what are the natural phenomena we know right so physics how we have to define what is physics physics is the study of physical nature and natural phenomena okay so this is very very important point next one the scope of physics means what type of branches or how many branches are come under this physics okay so the branches are like mechanics thermodynamics electrodynamics acoustics atomic physics nuclear physics etc so optics thermodynamics acoustics atomic uh, physics and uh, nuclear physics gravitation electromagnetic theory okay all these are nothing but all these branches come under what under physics okay and physics also explains what it explains the phenomena uh, from atomic phenomena to astronomical phenomena it explains what from atomic phenomena to astronomical atomic means what immediately we think that the particle which are smaller in the size atomic means smaller particles astronomical means what definitely which word comes in our mind space astronomical means space okay so the size of course the size mass length whatever if we consider the physical quantities they are huge okay so atomic phenomena to astronomical phenomena the physics explains what atomic phenomena to astronomical phenomena that is it deals with the length range from 10 rays to minus 15 meter to 10 rays to 26 meter what is the meaning of this 10 raised to minus 15 means what okay so the value suppose if it is a smaller then we say that 10 raised to some uh, value along with the value minus sign okay how we have to write exactly 10 raised to 15 means 1 divided by 1 after 1 how many zeros i have to write 15 0 zero. 15 0s i have to write similarly 0 0 like this so what is the answer for this 0.000000 okay 0001 is it not smaller okay is it not smaller definitely the value is smaller this value is smaller what is the meaning of this 10 raised to 26 meter means after this one how many zeros i have to put 26 zeros is it not bigger like this up to 26 okay so this value is bigger means 10 raised to 26 here they uh, here i have not mentioned any sign right positive negative i have not mentioned so if it is not mentioned it is understood that this is a positive value okay or else we can put plus sign the meaning is same 10 raised to plus 26 okay 
so if i mention here negative sign it is understood that this value is smaller value if it is a positive or if it is not mention anything it is understood that it is a positive value means larger value okay or bigger value so to avoid this burden we can't fit all these zeros in one page okay it is very difficult for us to write the these zeros in one page okay this one as well as this one to avoid this burden so we express the numbers in this way okay 10 raised to minus 15 meter 10 raised to minus 3 10 raised to minus 4 10 raised to minus 9 etc like that similarly here also 10 raised to plus 26 10 raised to plus 10 10 raised to 3 10 raised to 4 like that means larger values here i compared the radius of the nucleus suppose if we consider this is a nucleus of course the radius is very small small means we express in the minus the power should be minus negative okay if it is a larger okay the radius if it is a larger value for example radius of observable universe i had taken example of the universe here okay definitely the radius is larger here okay compare with compared with what compared with this nucleus okay so the length ranges are here both in this in these two cases this is a smaller and this is larger if it is a larger then we express in this way if it is a smaller then we express in this manner okay similarly if the masses range are from 10 raised to minus 30 kg to 10 raised to 55 kg means what this is a smaller mass and this is a bigger mass so i had taken one example here feather of course feather is lighter okay compared with this wooden block so we express this wooden block somewhere around 10 raised to 55 plus 55 or maybe 10 raised to 10 plus 10 kg etc right what is what about this feather feather of course it is a very very light so 0 0.0.001 0 .00 or else we say that 10 raised to minus 2 minus 3 kg in this way okay so in this way what we express the mass value okay so means this is a lighter than this one so i compare here mass ranges okay if it is a smaller if it is a lighter value then 10 raised to minus 30 if it is larger or the mass is heavy then we express in this way okay i just taken this is one example uh, 10 raised to minus 30 10 raised to 55 okay so this is not the exact number for these two so i just taken and compare with these two examples okay next one similarly we can express the time range also time range means this is a smaller time time value and this is larger time value okay means time scale if it is more then we express in the positive power it should be positive here it is 10 raised to plus 18 second means larger value so this is 10 raised to minus 22 means it is a smaller value okay so here i had taken one example i just compared compared the time scales between these two suppose if we travel from belgium to some other city nearby city for example goa we just assume that we are if we are traveling from uh, belgium to goa how much we uh, we will take we will we may take four hour or three hours right okay the same value if we compare here okay same time if we suppose if we compare in uh, with our uh, earth rotation to complete one rotation one revolution how much time it will take 24 hours correct then which one is larger here of course this 24 hours 
this one is larger right compare with this okay so how we express the time scales here larger value and a smaller this is a larger value and this is a smaller value similarly here i shown in seconds this is in hours these are in hours okay so, uh, similarly here i shown in seconds so 10 raised to minus 22 second and 10 raised to 18 seconds means this is a smaller time scale value and this is a larger time scale value okay so in this way we express the values for the different physical quantities whether it is a smaller value or larger value then uh, here we divide in two different categories whatever we studied the previous examples no the length time radius whatever physical quantities we measured they come under means the if the uh, measurable quantities suppose if they are smaller and if they are bigger they come under what they come under microscopic domain and macroscopic domain micro means what definitely smaller value okay micro means the particles which are very very tiny very very small okay so if suppose if we want to study the mass of the molecule or the mass of the atom nuclei or the radius of the nucleus atoms okay molecules etc so all these are what they come under what all these measurements come under microscopic domain means the values or the ranges are very very small then how we have to define this microscopic domain the microscope scope domain includes the study of phenomenon involving molecules, atoms, nuclei and other elementary particles. Okay. So, the particles which are very very small and whatever the measurement we are uh, performing, uh, uh, physical quantities which, which come under this microscopic domain. Means they are very smaller okay so it is very difficult for us to by using some instruments also we cannot uh, study some particles elementary particles radius mass etc okay all they come under what microscopic domain okay micro means we cannot see the particles which we cannot see with our naked eyes okay and the measurements which are very difficult okay the whatever the physical quantities we are measuring okay here so my mass it may be a mass time radius whatever length etc so they come under for these such elementary particles they come under what microscopic domain because they are very very small small range okay macro means what macroscopic domain macroscopic domain includes the study of the phenomenon involving objects of finite size on the terrestrial scale and even on astronomical scale terrestrial means what terrestrial means the the whatever the objects or the uh, things which we measure which we study on earth terrestrial means which is related to earth okay which is whatever the objects we are studying on the earth they are they come under what terrestrial astronomical means which is related to space this is related to earth and this is related to space okay for example if we want to measure the height of the tree or the building they come under what terrestrial scale they are measurable quantity we can easily measure them we can tell the approximate value of the uh, value or a height of the uh, tree or the building okay even radius of the earth we can measure we can calculate of course it is a larger value but uh, by assuming approximate value we can calculate okay so all these ranges whatever we are uh, studying like mass radius time same physical quantities which are related to terrestrial scale and astronomical scale they come under what come under macroscopic domain
which we can measure okay they are having what the objects of finite size okay so finite size means exact size so on terrestrial scale means on the earth so they come under what macro macro means larger or a bigger okay macroscopic domain i hope i have cleared all these points properly next excitement of physics this is uh, still we are studying so many things around us okay physics is exciting subject because it provides answers to exciting questions such as what are electrons still we don't know what are electrons okay what are atoms we don't know whether atoms are having a particular color size shape similarly electrons are whether they are having a particular color shape size etc we don't know still still the search is going on even for the molecules what are molecules we are assuming maybe this is one molecule maybe the value of this molecule is like this we are assuming maybe the molecule structure is like this all these are based on our assumptions okay still research is going on so we don't have that much sophisticated instrument to measure or to see the atoms with our naked eyes to see the electrons with our naked eyes we are assuming maybe electrons are negative particles elementary particles which are revolving around the nucleus we are thinking or we are assuming like this okay so these are all exci exciting things in physics okay they are very interesting okay similarly why sky is blue okay and why during sunset and sunrise time it is red red or orange color why like that it appears reddish or orange color because of what scatter due to the scattering of light these are all interesting phenomena similarly one more soap bubble when the soap bubble is exposed to the sunlight on the surface you might have observed that this the different colors on the soap bubble why like this these are all very interesting and exciting things which we which comes under physics okay so one by one we are going to learn in the future physics and technology physics for technology how physics and uh, technology both are related with each other so we know what is a uh, newton's law of gravitation sir isaac newton so they discovered this gravitation force gravitational uh, energy and force right based on that force of course people launched uh, or developed the artificial satellites we know this okay so using this physics phenomena technology or the instruments which are related to technology developed okay so technology and physics both are interrelated with each other okay similarly heat and thermodynamics based on this heat and thermodynamics whatever home appliances we are using and the steam engine all these are gifted by whom by this physics okay based on the this physics phenomena many technological instruments have originated another few examples here hydrodynamics hydro uh, from the hydrodynamics of course vehicles and aircrafts are designed okay and uh, due to the electromagnetic waves okay so wireless communication television radio so all these home appliances and instruments we are enjoying today in our day to day life right and this mobile phone which is very very important nowadays even for the online teaching and online learning this is very very important so this is based on wireless communication which is based on electromagnetic waves so this is a physics phenomena from physics phenomena we studied all these technological instruments okay so physics and technology both are interrelated with each other now it's a quiz time after my every session uh, definitely i will ask a few questions based on your previous understanding and knowledge or from this video understanding and knowledge so you have to answer for a few questions i have prepared very simple and easy questions 
so here there are three questions okay i will read out one by one first one who discovered electrons i put the dash here to write the answers or to fill the answers okay who discovered electrons second one who discovered neutron third one who discovered the law of gravitation okay so these are all very interesting easy questions which are based on your previous knowledge and understanding okay i think you know the answers of course uh, first answer jj thompson chadwick second answer sir isaac newton third answer right i hope you enjoyed this enjoyed this video and i have tried to clear your doubts okay for further questions and answers on first chapter please go through the link given below this is a link pu board link okay and this is a pu board website okay go through this website so this type of link you will get okay so in this website from the home page you will get all types of all types of information from the pu board okay and this link shows you the question bank of physics for a first year puc okay so chapter wise they have given the questions and answers right so one mark two mark three marks five marks splitted separately along with the answers so if you know how to uh, click this link then go through this link otherwise go to pu board website and uh, search the question bank okay of course on the home page it is given okay so go through that question bank subject wise they have given bifurcated separately so better you refer that question question bank okay then next books for uh, for the references okay so these are the government prescribed books textbooks if you want you can study these two you purchase these two or else you go through these two books or else this is another uh, one more reference book that is legends study material okay those who are feeling uh, difficulty in this then you can opt this book okay you can go through this book this is very simple and easy uh, in a easy way they have given this book okay apart from that these two of course many books are there whichever is easy for you better you refer but uh, preferably uh, textbooks are very very good for uh, to prepare the competitive exams like cet neat jwe etc okay so of course the they have given in very vast manner but they are very very important textbooks are very very important better you try to read the textbooks okay you will get the thorough knowledge from these two books okay i hope i have cleared and uh, i touched all the points from the first chapter thank you